Hello, hi there, this is Junior Trader and in this video we'll be taking a look at Neo stock technical analysis and also new delivery report that came out today. We'll be drawing some key levels, um, identifying support and resistance and then also taking a look at the price section and speculating what we can expect from Neo stock in coming days. With that, please remember none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes and please hit the like and subscribe if you like watching my videos. Now, before jumping into technical analysis of NEO chart, um, let's go to the NEO deliveries. So for the month of March 2023, NEO delivered 10,378 vehicles, which is a little bit lower than their February numbers, which was at 12,157 vehicles. But on the good side, we do have increase of 20.5% from the last year. So new cumulative deliveries has reached 320,597 as of March, you know, 31st, right? So all in all, you know, um, Neo did mention that they're coming out with their five new models and you can expect deliveries ramping up by say in second quarter, then following third quarter and fourth quarter, Neo did mention that they plan to deliver this year whopping, I think, 250,000 vehicles. So that's a quite an ambitious goal if Neo wants to achieve that. So that means in remaining nine months, Neo has to deliver over 200,000 vehicles to achieve that milestone, right? Very, very high, right? So, so yeah. Um, but, you know, um, if NEO is confident, so am I. And also they, you know, have, you know, um, deployed their power gen, you know, 3.0 swap station, which has more capacity, has higher, you know, I think they have NVIDIA's chip. I remember reading it somewhere. And then um, they also, you know, have their plans to install 1,000 power swap stations in 2023. So you know, which is going to add to their existing, you know, power stations already. And I think, yeah, here it is. As of March 31st, 2023, NEO had deployed 1,339 power swap stations and some charging stations of 1,285 with 64, 67 chargers and 1,154 destination charging stations. So... Yeah, NEO is speeding up their network of swapping station. They are, you know, trying to capture a lot of market share. And it's all great. Like this year will really reflect good on how NEO can perform now because it's getting at a stage of explosion, right? It's getting at the stage of, all right, growth is now what we need to chase for, right? And also want to mention that neo stock not just the stock but the company all in all is weathering the storm that other some of the ev makers are not able to they are still burning a lot of cash and so is neo as well you know don't get me wrong however they have proven their business model they are way ahead in terms of delivery and their market share than all other ev makers i always keep saying guys neo is second to tesla and i have done a lot of videos on neo that why i believe the stock is highly undervalued so please feel free to check out those videos in my channel and I'll leave the link also to those in by the end of this video you will see a you know a banner show up with the link to neo stock playlist now let's jump into our technical analysis and let's take a look at the stock price now we have been seeing that let me jump to the um, line chart first because that's where it's better seen so I did mention in my one of the uh, videos a few weeks ago that NEO has formed this double bottom here and is more likely to you know go up from here and we are seeing a follow-through so that's really good to see and also I want to mention that guys that this yellow line is the 20 days moving average uh, purple is 50 days moving average and the red is 200 days moving average and I'm on daily interval so I use these a lot to identify the trend and seeing if the momentum has come back in play in the stock because NEO has been just going sideways right for many months now so it's finally good to see that some momentum is coming back in NEO and before going further let's draw some key levels now so I have been talking about this level of 
$12.37 around, right? 12, yeah, so give or take a few cents, right? $12.39, right? And the reason I have been talking about it is because I believe this is a strong resistance level right now in NEO because of this pivot point. We have major pivot point here back in the, you know May 2022. Then around that level, we have another pivot point of the resistance. And every time stock has tried to go above it, it has failed. So expect this to still act as a major resistance. And what I am foreseeing stock might do is by the time it gets to this level of you know twelve dollars and thirty seven cents, this two hundred days moving average likely will be very around this range somewhere, and then there's going to be again a huge resistance. Expect a pullback. What we need to see at that time is these fifty days moving average and twenty days moving average providing support to Neo to shoot up back in that momentum. So that is yet to be seen. Once that time comes, we have to see the price action. Um, but that's how I envision it to play out eventually. Now, closer to the to current, you know, uh, closing price of NEO, let's talk about the price action here a little bit. So the good thing that we are seeing on NEO is NEO has established itself over this 20 days moving average, used it as a support, went straight up. My worry was, okay, 50 days moving average is also going to act as a resistance. The good thing is, NEO just went straight over that as well, and it is now using that as a support. In the last price section, you can see how well NEO stood up to the test of times of 50 days moving average. So, am I bullish on NEO? Well, I have always been bullish on NEO because I believe the stock is so undervalued fundamentally, right? Uh, let's draw some more key levels. I think we got to do that too. So this level of $9.52, and again, guys, the, in the sense, take it by the grain of salt, few cents up or down, right? It's always a range. It's never, you know, to the perfection of penny. So this is was a resistance before. It is now a really good support level. And we also have another support level that has formed. So this is, again, like the $9 range and, you know, $8 range. At this point, I'll just take it as a really good support level. So you can, you know, take $8.85 as well. However, we don't really need to talk about it because stock price is above that. But just in case, right, in case stock comes back to this level. So, you know, your, you know, price points. But I don't want to draw that because right now it just doesn't hold any precedence or importance because we are over $9.52. Now. What else are we seeing? Are there any other resistance level that NEO will run into? Well, yes, there is one at $10.59. And the reason for that is there has been these pivot points in the past here, this resistance level that has acted. And um, there's consolidation here. So, and uh, lately it has acted as a little bit resistance as well, but, but price action is looking strong on NEO because you can see how well it stood up, right? The second candle. Let's jump down to our hourly chart. It will get more clear there what I'm, um, you know, seeing with the stock. So as you can see, yes, those pivot points right now as close to the price action is where, you know, NEO has been um, acting as resistance However, as I say, price action is looking strong. Once it breaks above it, um, let's see if we have another resistance level that we can expect new. And this is more like on the intraday trading, guys, if you want to do, these levels will come in a lot handy. And I'll cover that as well, what I mean. So another level, guys, I'm looking at on the hourly chart that will act as a little bit of resistance on new is around $11.64 as it's now going to the upside. So it's going to act as a resistance because of this pivot point here. A resistance in this range a little bit of support that flush happened you know that big huge red candle that you see after it right and there are some candles around this level area so yeah guys we do have again like another intraday resistance would be $12 $12 and 11 cents as well I really don't want to clutter you know everything here uh, but do expect like some resistance at $11.65 and then minor resistance is also around the level of $12.13. So $12 range 
to the upwards of $13 is where we actually eventually want to see consolidation from NEO before we can, you know, for, with confidence say that, yep, NEO is for the upside. Um, let's a little bit take a look at other areas. And let me jump, I think, to four minutes chart for sorry, four hours chart for it. Yeah, this is all right. This provides us a lot more clarity. And guys, yes, so that's why I'm saying we need to get over this $12.39 and form consolidation to have that confirmation that Neo is ready to rip to the upside. Uh, because you can see clearly in the price action here how much this resistance is even at thirteen dollars and twenty seven cents and i should draw that out as well because it's important to watch this thirteen dollars and twenty one cents area again i'm saying area because um yeah it is never perfect to the penny you know always give some penny up and down right so but yeah for your intraday trading basically break off ten dollars and sixty four cents right now or ten dollars and fifty nine cents break out of it will give you another long play to the range of eleven dollars and sixty three cents so right around this range um again like i really don't want to play neo short so i won't even recommend neo to the short side because it just okay it just doesn't make sense um to play neo short um yeah you have on hourly let's jump down to the hourly chart because intraday trading is better than on either minute chart or hourly chart based on you know how you know you are using the moving averages but yeah as long as neo can stay on this 20 hours moving average guys which is this yellow line on top of it the breakout actually of the ten dollars and 59 cents can be traded uh to the 11 dollars and 64 cents um this is for intraday trading guys and for the swing side i think you can slowly and slowly start chipping in if you want to if you believe in you no financial advice but i think at this point it looks really great for that as well and you, as you can see guys you know if, even the stock did go down when the market opened right it has consolidated itself above back in this range right so new is looking for a breakout really well guys um now let's take a look final look at our daily chart and let's see how you know things looks like with neo so all in all guys yep these levels keep a note of these these gonna you know come into you know execution really soon um but yeah this chart looks strong now on neo guys i think it's gonna go up and I really want to see NEO consolidate in above $13.25 in this range. I want to see some consolidation because that will give us, you know, some surety that we have gotten over this 200 days moving average. And, you know, guys, when that happens, that's going to be really good time for NEO to just keep ripping up to the upside because I don't see major resistance level then at least until $5.00 and then we do have some let me show you guys as well on the chart we do have then 24 dollars in the range so definitely you know lot to lot to cover sorry in the background my dishwasher is running um yeah so that's something you should be uh you know taking a look at eventually but yeah neo looks strong guys i hope you found this video helpful and enjoyable with that please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video guys take care